Hello everyone, this is Zach with MTG Poke Hero again, continuing on our Ixalan spoiler series. Today we're going to be looking at the green cards as of 9-11-17. So, today we're going to start off with a reprint, a Slice and Twine. Uh, this was one of the reprints that the professor got. We'll be going over the other ones here in a little bit. Um, but Slice and Twine is 2 and 2 green for an instant uncommon. Destroy target artifact or enchantment and you get a draw card. I was really excited to see this card. And back in standard, it's been a while since we've seen it. I really like the card. I think it's a really just kind of cool idea just to be able to have multiple facets of a card where you can destroy an artifact, you can destroy an enchantment, and not only that, you get a card on top of it. My only issue is, is we have another card in standard that was in Kaladesh for a common, and that was Aptide of the Unnatural for two and a green. If you destroy a target artifact, you gain two life. Um, so I think that's probably what this is going to, what Slice and Twine is going to be fighting for, for us, a, a spot in sideboards for sure. But all in all, I mean, it's still a good card. You'll play it in Limited. I think we've got tons of artifacts coming out, artifacts that change into land. We've got pirate ships. We've got tons of stuff. We're kind of, only have some enchantments that will be in Limited of kind of okay. But realistically, I think this is going to fight for a slot with Appetite for the Unnatural, and I think Appetite will end up winning that, but you'll definitely play this in Limited. Let's see, our next card is Wild Growth Walker. So for one and a green, whenever a creature you control explores, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on Wild Growth Walker, and you gain three life for a one three. I think this is going to be pretty good in a lot of what I'm estimating to be kind of this Explorers theme decks in Limited. Um, so I think it's going to do real well. It's going to be able to gain you some extra life. You'll be able to boost it up, and then you'll have like a 2-4, and end up probably having at least getting this thing to a 4-6 or a 3-5, uh, which is still pretty good for limited. I don't think it's going to be in standard, just because I don't think there's enough cards to kind of make that Explorer's deck in there, but in limited, it's going to be a bomb. And other than that, I think that's probably where you'll see it the most our next one is Snapping Sailback for 4 and a green. It is a f dinosaur with flash and enrage. Whenever Snapping Sailback is dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter on it for a 4-4. Four, four. I was so excited when I saw this because all I could think about is the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. When it comes out of nowhere and I just saw this thing, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I looked and I was like, oh. It is does not definitely get to take out the king of the Dinosaurs Gilgashes. Gilshasha. I am butchering that name, and that's okay. Because I don't think anybody can ever <laughs> say that name right. Um, Limited Bomb, I mean, it's a Flash Dinosaur. So, like, and you can see it, it's popping out of the water, which is awesome because it just would do that in the movie, which I just thought they completely went the right way with it. And it's got this wild hair, it's awesome. A limited bomb for sure we won't see in standard which is sad but it's still pretty cool i would probably still keep one just to have it for my dinos deck on in edh the next one is merfolk branch walker for one and a green when merfolk brent watcher walker enters the battlefield and explores and you know we have the explorers you get a reveal card if it's a light if it's a land you can put it in your hand, otherwise you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. You can either put the card back or put it into your graveyard. So this would definitely go with our elemental that, you know, gets the bonus for exploring. It's a pretty decent deal. You can end up with a 3-2 two for 2. Not bad. We may see it in the Merfolk standard deck. I think it just kind of depends on what that looks like. Um... I don't remember, I don't think really the two drop slot is filling out. This may fill that, kind of give you a more aggressive curve a little bit. But all in all, you'll play it in limited. There are a couple other cards that are really better, though, in the two drop slot. So we'll just see how it fits. All in all, not too bad. The next one is Shaper's Sanctuary for green. Whenever a creature you control becomes a target of spell or an ability your opponent controls, you may draw a card. This card's great in EDH. Um, probably maybe unlimited. You'll you'll have it in your sideboard just in case your opponent has a lot of removal. The issue with limited is there's not always that much removal, so it kind of leaves this card to the side. 
Um, I probably won't see play in standard. Maybe in modern, because I know modern is a pretty weird format for the most part. Um, but I think it would be like a one of in sideboards, and I think they may have better options to give their creatures be able to get a it benefit if something happens. Oh no, it's pretty interesting. The next one is Emperor's Vanguard for four and a green for a human scout. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, it explores. I like the fact that it grows from a four three, and then you can have a five four. Don't know why my voice is cracking today. All in all, it's pretty decent. Limited card. You probably won't see plans there, and that's okay. We understand. We've got better options. Our last card in the green is Old Growth Dryad. For a green, when, whenever Old Growth Druid, not Dryad, I don't know why I called it that. It enters the battlefield. Each opponent may search his or her library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tab, then shuffle his or her library. And it's a 3 3. This is a 3 3 for 1. That is a ridiculous rate. So, I, so if we have a hyper aggressive green deck, this card is meant for you. My only issue is, is that it dies to every piece of removal in standard. It's a great card, and hopefully you guys can make it work out. Um, but realistically, well, I take it back. It does not die to every piece. The only one that can't take it out is Magma Spray. Everything else that's a two drop and Fatal Push can take it out. So that's just something to be really wary of when you're playing this card. Um, I, maybe you could put it in the Whiny Constrictor deck, and then usually they have four copies of the Blossoming Defense to be able to keep it around, but you basically, you play this on turn one, then they go to their turn one, they have a land, they play an untapped land, and then they can either harness a braid, the walk the plank, um, and grasp, or not grasp, grasp is gone, fatal push. But all in all, it's still a pretty cool card, it may work out, maybe, it can happen. <laughs> all in all, it's not that bad, but all, you'll play it in limited, You'll play it in standard if there is a deck for that. Uh, I don't really see it playing much in any other format, but all in all, it's a pretty decent card, and hopefully, I may be wrong, which is okay. So, again, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you like us, please like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Um, and remember, these are all the green cards as of 9, 11, 17. The goal is to finish everything tonight, so that way. We can just put up a daily video of, and be able to keep constant spoilers. Um, I also saw that the newest Modern Master set came out. We may or may not be doing reviews over that. Um, just kind of depends on what my time constraints looks like. But all in all, guys, thank you for watching this video. And may the top decks be for your favorite. Thanks. Have a good day.